everyone, my name is Shannon Maloney and this is Sean Harris and we are the Global Football Development Coaches for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. We are here today with Coach Mickey, a popular fitness and nutrition instructor from Thailand. So hi Mickey, how are you? Hi Sean, hey Shannon, I'm good, how are you guys? Yeah, we are really good. So Mickey, I'd like you to tell us what you've been busy with, so how you've been keeping yourself healthy, what sort of things you've been doing to keep yourself active and healthy during this time. Well, lately I've just been working out and of course trailing most at home. I've been using a lot of my body weight to train, not so much equipment, and watching football, the new season just got started. Nice. Good stuff, Mickey. So usually for myself and Sean, we're the ones that are doing sessions, we're coaching other people, but today we're going to let you put us through our paces with something completely new and completely different. Of course, of course, I got something prepared for you guys today. It's going to be fun. I don't know, Mickey, if I'm scared or excited. You should be excited more than scared, but I bet you'll be tiring as well. Okay, I like that. That's what we like. We like to sweat, we like to get our heart rates up. So we're, we're excited. It's good, that's good. I'm ready to. So we've been challenged by AIA to learn this new workout routine. And I did say I was a little bit scared, but I am a little bit excited as it's really important to explore new things. We benefit from all of these things because it's new ways for us to implement new exercises into our daily routines. So Mickey, when you're ready, myself and Sean, we're ready with you. Are you guys ready? I think so. Ready. Each exercise, it's going to be 20 seconds and we're going to do them continuously on every exercise and we take a rest, alright? So like I said, it's going to take a lot of relative strength, which means you're going to use a lot of your core. And for athletes and normal population, we sometimes don't activate our core enough. So today, I think you're going to feel your core just a bit. Alright, so the first one is going to be classic plank, but we're going to do a hand plank, alright? So we're going to be on the floor like a push-up position. Put our hands around your shoulder level, about chest height. Keep our back flat. And we're going to squeeze our core, squeeze our butt tight. And we're going to go on for 20 seconds. Ready? Count down in 3, 2, 1. And we go up 20 seconds. Come on, Sean. Come on, Chandler. Let's go. 20 seconds. we got 15 more seconds. Starting off easy and it's going to get a bit harder. So we've got 10 seconds. Feeling your core? Nice. Nice. Four, three, two, one. And in that same position, we're gonna push ourselves back like an A and back into the plank. Back to an A, back into the plank. All right, count down. Three, two, one. And go, push your butts up, butts up. Good. And forward, forward, forward. Good, 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 good. Keep your core tight. You got 10 more seconds, come on, come on, 10 more seconds. Good, you got five, four, three, two, one. And you're gonna turn around. All right, the next one, Sean and Shannon, it's gonna be a reverse plank. So you're gonna sit on your butts and then put your hands next to your shoulders. Keep your legs straight on your heels, lift your butts up. So make your body straight out, straight line. Squeeze your core, squeeze your butt. Keep your chest up and just hold for 20 seconds. So we're still working on our core but you're gonna feel your lower back more as well. So we work, we work the anterior chain and then we work the posterior chain as well. All right, we got 10 more seconds. I'm sweating right now too. We got five, four, three, two, and one. And still, still stay sitting down. All right, so similar position, move your legs back in, closer to your body. And now you're gonna lift your butts up and then you're gonna straight your legs out. Left and right for 20 seconds. Slow and control. Almost like an L sit. Keep your core tight. Spread your leg all the way out. Keep your butts up, butts up. Your butt's not touching the floor. Good, you got 10 more seconds. Slow and control. Good, 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 good. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, all right, next one, it's gonna be a lateral back crawl, okay? So we're gonna put our hands down on the floor. Keep your legs bent 90 degrees, like this, if from the side way. So like a bear. All right, good. 
So we're gonna come down to this position. We got this for 20 seconds as well. We're gonna go sideways. So wide step on the legs. Close, wide. Close, wide. Close, wide. We're going back and forth, left and right, using your core and your upper and lower body. Good, good, we got 15 more seconds. All right now I'm sweating, I'm gonna go watch you guys, yes. All right, ready? On the mic out now. Two, one, and go. All right, actually go sideways, sideways, sideways. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, good, good. Just one step, one step, one step. Right and left, 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 right and left. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Good, all right, we're gonna come up on our feet now. Are you guys sweating? It's just a bit hard, yes. When we move laterally, most people, most people move this way, right? Forward, backward, and now we go lateral. All right, so the next one, it's gonna be single leg squats. All right, it's not gonna be piston squats. So, so, one leg up, one leg on the floor. All right, good, you can put your hands on your chest, all like this is fine. And then we're gonna do a single leg squat, come down as low as you can, and we're gonna come up. So this gonna work the stability of your hips, your ankle as well, and also your knee. Good, so squats down, move your butts back. So you got 15 more seconds on the one side. And then we're gonna switch side. You got 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna switch legs now. Let's go. The other leg, the other leg. All right, we're gonna switch legs now. Come on, Sean, come on, Shannon. One, two, let's go, let's go. Try to go down as low as you can. Come on, you got 15 more seconds. You got this, you got this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good, good. Go lower, Shannon, go lower, go lower. You got five, four, three, two, and one. And back to the first leg. We're gonna go single leg deadlift. So one leg's up, one leg's on the floor. We're gonna reach out, and we're gonna dive to the high knee. Reach out, and we're gonna dive to the high knee. For 20 seconds, ready? Yes. Out, and high knees. Out, and high knees. Okay, we got 15 more seconds. So this is gonna require lots of control. See? Not many people can control one leg. Good, good, good. Breathe, good, breathe, breathe. I'm sure you use a lot of this in the football player as well, right? Good. Good. Five, four, three, two, and we switch legs. Come on, let's go. One more side, one more side. Let's go, let's go. All right, we're gonna reach and dive your knees up. If you feel comfortable, you can dive your knees a bit quicker. So we transition from the eccentric of the hamstring to the concentric. Let's go. Good, 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 good. You got 10 more seconds. And we're on to the last exercise. You got five, four, three, two, and we go back down to the push-up starting position. So right here, we're going to the plank, and we're gonna push ourselves back to sitting on the heels, back to the plank, backs on the heels. Forward and backward. Come on, let's go. Last exercise before we take a rest. Yes, good. Don't drop your back, don't drop your back. Keep your core tight, squeeze your lats, squeeze your lats. Good, plank, push back. 15 seconds, plank, push back. I want to see a straight line, straight line, straight line. Good, 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 good. Looking good, looking good. Good. You got five, four, three, two, and we take 30 second rest. All right, take a sip of water. It's good. So, so like I mentioned, the Kalyan static, this, what we're doing here is not, nothing crazy. It's using your body weight as a beginner workout to engage the core, to work on how to stabilize each joint and parts of your body and give you mob mobilization of your, your body as well. So I think everyone should be able to work with their body weight. Doesn't ha that doesn't mean that they have to pull themselves up in one arm but at least they can do a proper plank, they can engage the core, keep your belly button tucked in, and all these basic foundation stuff. I think it's really important and it helps with a lot of uh, other exercises as well, Shannon. Perfect, thank you very much, Mickey. And just the last question I'm just gonna ask. 
So we're beginners, myself and Sean. So is that exercise that we just did, that routine, is that a good exercise for beginners? Definitely. So all the exercise we just did, it's a foundational movement before you start any calisthenic movement. So definitely for the beginners, they can do this exercise three, four times a week. Even part of their warm up, they can do that as well. Brilliant. Thank you, Mickey, so much. And just a massive thank you from myself and, and Sean, um, you know, for giving us this, this. It's just brand new for us and it's something that, you know, we can put into our daily life. We don't need a lot of space. We don't need any equipment and really, really kind of, because at the moment if people are not going out and they're not, you know, allowed out and, and able to do their normal gym routines or, or normal exercises outside, it's just a really, really good way for you to utilize your body, your mobility, your strength. And I think with it as well, you can, you can progress with it as well, Mickey. So if we work for 20 seconds and we did uh, five single leg squats, maybe in two or three weeks time, we might be able to do eight or nine or 10 within that yes. time period. Yes, that's, that's what I like about timing yourself. So you can set a specific rep as well. And then the next time you do the same exercise within that same timing, you can increase the reps. That means you're putting in more work, right? Yes, perfect, brilliant. So I think we're gonna show you one move that you can do with a football. So we're gonna try and incorporate a football. I see you've got a football there. We're just gonna get our footballs. I do, I got mine here. All right, Mickey, so this is what we're gonna do. So it's on the floor again. We're gonna put the ball between our feet. So, just to work the core, we're gonna go back to forward, to back, to forward. So you've gotta keep the ball between your feet, Mickey. And see, can you touch the floor? You can come back up to the ball. Yes. I can, I can already feel my core. Yes, work in the core. So let's go for 10 more seconds. Oh, what? I wasn't ready for this one. <laughs> Three, two, one, and relax, Mickey. <sighs> so that's what we can do using the football. How was that? I, I can feel a lot of my core on that one, it's burning. Good, good, good. We can learn a lot of each other, you know, we can use the bodyweight stuff and when we've got a ball around, it's always nice to use different objects as well if you have it. But listen, really well done, we thoroughly enjoyed it. And all these exercises, obviously, they help you to lead a healthier, longer and better life. It's a full body workout, easy to do at home. Anyone can do it, which is great, from beginners to experts. So I think it's really good. It's something that we're going to take on and try to promote throughout our sessions as well. So thank you very much, Coach Mickey. Thank you, Sean and Shannon. Thank you so much for letting me join you guys' sessions. And it's really nice to work with you guys. Hey, great. So I just want to say thanks to Coach Mickey and, and AIA. It's a really good session, something that anyone can do at home, beginners, experts. You don't have to be a fitness expert to do it. You just need a small space and incorporate lots of different ideas. And exercises like this will always leave you to live a healthier, longer, and better life. And we really appreciate it and we're going to try and implement it in some of the sessions that we do. So thank you, Miki. Thank you, AIA. Thank you, everyone that's watching. Really appreciate it.